In this video, we're going to be comparing the pros and cons of shooting iPhone RAW or JPEG exposure brackets for the purpose of HDR merging or exposure blending. Which one should you be using? That's what we're going to be answering in today's video. Let's start with JPEG brackets. What are the benefits of JPEG? The first benefit is the small file size. iPhone JPEG file size is around 2 megabytes in size. Shooting a typical 3 bracket shot for HDR, you get a total of around 6 megabytes per shot, which is 5 times less than shooting in RAW. Another benefit of JPEG is images are processed out of the box with sharpening and tone and color corrections baked in to make for a better looking image. What are the disadvantages? The main disadvantage is the lack of editability. As JPEG is a compressed format, a lot of information in dark shadows and bright highlights have been removed which gives less latitude for the HDR editor to recover details during the tone mapping process. How about raw brackets? What are its advantages? The first advantage is editability. Raw images have around 5 times more data than JPEG which should help in detail recoverability during tone mapping and theoretically produce better looking images. In addition, some HDR editors can merge files into a DNG format which has a greater editability latitude than any single RAW file. The second advantage is flexibility. Just in case HDR doesn't produce the results you had hoped for, you still have the benefit of a high quality RAW bracket to fall back on. What are the disadvantages? The main disadvantage is the file size. Raw file sizes are 5 times the size of JPEGs. So in a 3 bracket shot, that would require around 30 megabytes of storage per shot. And that adds up very quickly if you are shooting a lot of images. But all of these pros and cons would be moot and academic if there is not a discernible advantage in image quality. So let's now compare the HDR results from JPEG and raw brackets and see whether we can see a difference. All these images were shot with the recently released Aura HDR Camera 7.0 which supports both JPEG and raw bracket shooting. To shoot the brackets, simply select the shooting mode, whether raw or JPEG, and press the shutter. Once the shooting is done, the brackets will be saved into the photo manager. By the way, as a bonus, with every purchase of Aura HDR camera, you help support the channel and help keep the videos coming. Let's now merge the brackets in Lightroom, which supports both JPEG and RAW HDR merging. So here is the result for the JPEG brackets, and here is the result for RAW brackets. Which one do you prefer? Is the extra size in raw brackets worth it? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you shoot exposure brackets, which one do you shoot yourself? JPEG or RAW? I'd love to know that as well. Finally, do check out Aura HDR 7.0 camera on the Apple App Store. It's the best app for computational photography. See you in the next video.